Hello Beauty News family! Welcome to today's episode of Beauty News. Today we will be talking about new stuff. This yep. is the 18th of May edition. If you would like to listen to this via podcast, you can go right ahead and do that. Link is down below. And if you're listening on podcast and you want to see our beautiful faces, link, the link is, is in the information in the info. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so this episode is starting with two updates. Yeah. We don't really love talking about updates in the new video, no. but this one we need to do it. Yeah. Well, we've got we've got two. One we have to get off our chest now. Like it's we need to vent about. We've got to do them. It's problematic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So angry. Uh, the other one is kind of relevant because it's coming really soon. Yeah. And so we want to give you a heads up. We yeah. do. We do. Okay. So the first one, if you watch our updates video on. Friday? No, Monday. Monday, Fuck, yeah. I don't know what day it is. Uh, on Monday, we talked about uh, Huda Beauty showing some marketing images. Now, when we filmed that, we had two marketing images. images: The gold bath one and then the kind of pinky, rosy one. Yeah. Um, and then as I was editing the next day, we saw some sneak peeks of like swatches. And then um, as it was set to upload and just a few hours before the video went to upload, uh, she showed what it was. And it was a rose gold palette remastered. Now, in our video on Monday, we said very clearly that we don't want it to be as shit as the rose gold palette. Now, that is a palette that divides people because mm. um, some people love the formula, some people hate the formula, some people in between. Now, um... <sighs> <laughs> yeah. So I think we were both excited for a new palette. I think everyone a was excited palette. for a new palette. Yeah, we a brand were like, new palette. Let's add another palette to our Huda collection. And no. Yeah, so essentially what this is, and you can see on the screen a comparison to the um original. Um the formula is very different. The yep. original one, the top row are pretty much I'm gonna say moist eyeshadows. <laughs> yeah. They're sort of like very wet pressed pigments almost a cream mm. very hard to work with i hated them they make my eyeshadow like my eyes look really creasy and old mm. they're not good to work with some people love them good go you think good thing the bottom one is the remastered version so this one contains five new shadows so they did get rid of some old shadows and then revamped a lot of them pretty much the whole top row from the first palette is still in the the second palette but just different formulas. They look yeah. very, very, very different because they're a different formula entirely. Yeah. Yeah. The whole bottom row is the same. They're all mattes. And then the middle row contains four new shades, mattes and shimmers. Um, and there's also pink diamond on the top row, which is a sort of purpley shimmery shade that's new as well. So five new shades. They kicked out five boring shades um, and they've totally revamped it. Now, this is met with mixed opinions, but mostly anger and mm. i totally feel it now the whole thing about the rose gold palette was that okay it was huda beauty's first palette and she even came out to say that when she launched it she didn't make any wages that year and it was putting everything on the line and i it almost felt like an, an excuse of why she brought out a shit palette i felt like that as well um it mm, yeah, it really, it felt like she was making excuses about why it was bad and also adding in the woe is me yes. bit. Yes, um, yes. Because she was like, uh, that year I couldn't afford to pay myself salary because this palette was such a huge project for us. Um, and I'm... Mm, yeah. I think that's totally are you, are you shit. sure? Because you actually had products out before that and you had uh, quite successful um, social media platforms platforms and yeah. I imagine that other people were working with you um, to help bring in money potentially. But her saying that she can't pay herself wages could have been from the Huda Beauty you know makeup brand. Maybe. But even yeah. then what annoys me about that is any startup brand for the first six to twelve months can't yeah. it's, it's it's a money pit. It is anyone knows if you start up a business Chances are you won't make any money. You'll just drop all your savings into it um, until it starts, you know, getting on its feet. It's it's not a woe is me story in that she's anywhere different from this. I'm sure if you talk to Jeffree Star, he put everything on the line to release his brand. Yeah. Um, and look at him now. So, yes, you might have had a hard year, but 
look at where you are now. So exactly. you've well and truly made up for it. So I, I have no fucking sympathy for you whatsoever. Because that is part of starting up your own business. Correct. It costs you a bomb. Yeah. Not only in money, but in time and like just like your mental and emotional health literally gets sucked to death yeah. from these things that we want to put our lives into and then you, they succeed yeah <laughs> that's the whole point and, of them. and she has succeeded she succeeded and so what's annoying and i think a lot of people left comments on the instagram on our instagram post that we post about this because my point was okay so we were a bit shitty because we bought the Desert Dusk palette, really enjoyed it, and then went back and bought the Rose Gold palette because it was being discontinued. Yeah. Now, a lot of people did the same thing. They were like, I like the Desert Dusk. I'm going to go buy this palette before it's completely off the shelves. Yeah. Now, if Huda Beauty said, we are getting rid of um, Rose Gold, but we're revamping it, so just you wait, no one would have bought the old one. People that loved the old one would have bought backups. And then people that were like us and thought, okay, I'm sort of interested in it, but I I wasn't that, that invested in, yeah. until I tried her second palette, we would have waited. And I feel like it was very deceptive to be like, this is going, it's limited, like, it's limited edition, it's being discontinued, um, last chance, last chance, last chance. And then six months later, they're like, lol, here's a new one, a nice shiny new one with nicer packaging, better new formula shades. and new shades that you actually yeah. might be interested in. I thought that was so shit of her. So a lot of people feel mm. um, not, de- well, I, said, I guess, deceived to some degree, but also um, if people bought her first palette trying to support her brand it's literally like a kick in the teeth this is what i hate yeah yeah it's like is... you bought my trash yeah and now i'm going to bring something out for you but you need to pay another 65 us dollars 95 australian dollars to buy it again five new shades for five, five new, shades. new shades but everything else has been revamped yeah but is it really i you know i just i'm gonna say this like once bitten twice shy i feel like i cannot trust her so she says, revamped, better formula, la la, fucking angels. And I'm just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm, yeah, mm, yeah, nah. 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 I don't, I don't trust it. No. I don't trust it because of how this has unfolded. Unfolded. Yeah, I agree. Can we just talk about the palette of the marketing, though, for a second? We've yep. got swatches here. It looks fine. It does, Once again, this looks like a palette from a few years ago. It's mm-hmm. nothing super exciting. Um, but if you, yeah, if you want it, fine. It's coming out on the, I think the 20, so this is coming out on the 22nd if you did want to buy it. So there you go. Oh, my mum's birthday. Maybe I'll Excellent. buy it for her. No, I won't. My mum won't use it. Um, but I also wanted to say one thing that, you know, when people talk about, um, they talk about marketing images being like photoshopped to the shit house. Mm-hmm. Did you see what her marketing image looks like? No. What's happened? Okay, so here she shows the behind the scenes where she's like leaning up against the wall. It looks very romantic. Yeah. Then you look at the edited one. It looks like it's CG. It does. This looks like it's in a video game or someone that does digital art. Yeah. Seriously. It's so not. I can't relate to it because it's so unrealistic to me. It so doesn't even I'm showcase just, the bloody eye shows very well. I'm just like, like mm, pretty yeah. dress. Is that what we're selling? I like the rose wall. <laughs> yeah, I like rose walls too. Um, is that what we're promoting? I'm, I don't know. Wispy hair? That's something else I said. But it even looks <laughs> like drawn on wispy hair. It does look like drawn on oh. wispy hair, which is concerning. She also um, tries to market it as being... What is she doing? What is she's, this thing? She's pouring water on it. It's under a tap. Oh, go away. So, Rose Gold Remastered palette is here to stay. Does that mean that it's... That for some reason the eyeshadows are waterproof? Or is it saying that it's a permanent palette? I can't... I don't understand. This is all confusing me. And I it's know. all... I'm not interested. It. She's... She's burnt her bridges with me. I feel that way too. And I, like, you know, I'll vote with my money. You just won't get it, Huda. You know, it's it's something like you, that. Or but... if you get it, we're going to get it to destroy. <laughs> yeah, we will. Um, actually, I something I do want to address about the cost. Mm-hmm. The palette includes a mirror. Is it going to be more expensive? Well, 
Her Desert Dusk includes mirror. Okay, and it was the same price. Yeah, so All I right. think this packaging is to to mirror the 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 Desert Dusk palette. Yeah. Whereas the rose gold had that flexy fucking clear yes. lid yeah. that was shit. Yeah. So I think yeah, I think they could just put more money in it because they're making more money from them these days. Mm. Um. Anyway, let's move on before we get too angry. Okay. Or sad Good. or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. Um, disappointed, on... I think. That's me. Yeah. Just disappointed. It's sort of like when you find out that like an ex-friend has been bitching about you or that yeah. someone you were dating was sleeping with someone else. You're like, yeah. I just feel really upset with yeah, you right I'm now. just so I'm disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've done me bad. <clears throat> yeah. Um, anyway, on to Fenty. Uh, so we've seen the full collection that's coming out on May the 21st. Yeah. So uh, we could have put this in updates, which is coming out on the May 21st, but we want to give you plenty of time to, to... figure out what you want to buy. Yes. Um, so this is part of the Beach Please collection, which I guess is like the summer collection. Um, and we've seen the kilowatt foils, which we've spoken about. So they're the highlighters that are multi-purpose, mm-hmm. eyes or face. Um, and there's also limited edition lip luminizers and eye shimmers. I think that implies that the kilowatt foils are permanent. I think so. Because they don't mention the kilowatts yeah. being limited. limited. Edition. However, yeah. they do with the other items. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we can see it all together. It's going to have similar packaging to the body lavas and that pom-pom thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's all going to be sort of in that range. Um, and you buy the lip uh, the lip glosses in trios. And yeah. then the eye illuminator things, um, eye shimmers, are the double-ended things down the bottom. Yeah. So on the screen, I'll have uh, swatches as we mentioned the products. So there's the Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Duos. There's Summer Days Iridescent Lip Luminizer Trios. So there's two limited edition trios. One that has a burgundy with a green shift, one that's got a blue with a purple shift, uh, one with a gold and a pink shift, and then the next trio is mint with an iridescent glitter, peach with an iridescent fuchsia glitter, uh, and fuchsia with an iridescent glitter as well. So they, they sound fun for lip glosses. Look, they look very pretty. Especially with the swatches, like I'm, I like them. I'm not, I'm not gonna buy them. I don't have a place for these in my life. But I, I don't really hate like, them. Yeah, they're, they're different. There's to what's some coming shades out. there, like uh, Vey Cray and Bilingual. I'm just like, oh my god. I, I even think them. single looks really, really nice. Single is pretty. Like yeah. it's it's a, it's different for a lip gloss. Snake skin looks nice. Yeah. I just think even mermaid thighs, they all look nice. Yeah. Then we've got the Island Bling 2-in-1 uh, Liquid Eye Shimmers. So they're liquid eyeshadows. They're also limited edition. Um, and they're double-ended. So you have one that's got a deep metallic bronze and an iridescent gold. And then one that's got a metallic rose gold and an iridescent opal. So, yeah, one's more of a deeper one, one's more of a lighter one. Once again, they're, they're pretty. They are pretty. I don't have, again, not not getting my money. Fenty. No, You haven't but... won me over. But, um, yeah, they're pretty. I think they'll sell well. Mm. All right, so we're going to go alphabetical with the new stuff. We have a new brand here called Alamar Cosmetics. And I don't know how to pronounce this palette name. Uh, we're going to call it Larina. Uh, It's a volume one eyeshadow palette, so there will be more coming, I'm assuming, in the future. Uh, This is an eight pan eyeshadow palette. It looks to be four mattes and four shimmery metallic shades. It's an interesting mix because, okay, it's very on trend with the bright blue and the teal and the oranges, but they don't mix super well. Anyway, whatever. They might be really good. People are excited about this brand because it's Latina owned yeah. and um, and it's cruelty free and it's something that's inspired by like Latina culture. So if you're interested in that, it's a good one to support. Yes. Um, there is also a brush trio. So these look to be um, eyeshadow brushes, um, $18 for the trio. So... There you go. And that palette was $28. $28, yeah. So, you know, if if you're into indie makeup, here's one that you can start checking out. Yeah. Becca, um, so this was shown on John Lewis and very quickly taken down. I'm not sure if it's up now as you're watching this, but essentially what it is is that Becca Be A Light 
face palette. Um, we don't know much about it. It's a four pan palette. It looks to be two highlighters, oh, maybe three, I don't know. It's, it's a little bit confusing because the size and shapes of those pans just make me angry. Two massive highlighters and a little blush and bronzer, that's, potentially. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this. And my brain just goes, nope. So there are claims that there was options to choose different shades of this palette. So potentially there were more um, that were suitable for different skin tones. Mm -hmm. um, and they were £35 each. Um, okay, so Beauty Bay was asked if they would be um, stocking Colourpop. And they said that they're working on it, but they have no specifics. Yeah, that could mean something or nothing. But, yeah, exactly. But we're having a slow news day, so we're talking about it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then we've got some Decium news. It mm. looks like they're releasing a bunch of new brands. So even though Brandon is off the rails, off the rails <laughs> yeah. uh, they're still working on stuff. Yeah. Um, and it looks like they are sort of sneak peeking well, it's not very sneaky but they haven't showed what the brand is yet yeah but they've been showing um these balms they look like multi-purpose balms so like lip and um dry area balms and yep. they've got different scents or they said flavors which made me think it was toothpaste yeah um but the more we look into it the more we actually just mean think they mean scent yeah oh, well, i guess lip balm you can eat yeah and so it would be flavor. They did post an image um, of this like flat lay type. I assume it's going to be packaging, and it's got Petro Watt, fifteen mils, uh, milk, FYI, coconut milk flavor. And if you read from the right and then over to the left, it says um, directions: apply to the lips and/or dry skin areas. Um, Use as needed or more than needed if you want to quickly try to finish up the tube and buy another flavor. Um, so I think, and also the Petro Watt thing makes yeah. me think that it's um, like, you know, petroleum jelly. Yeah. Everyone's like, fucking petrochemical is bad. Yeah. It's so bad for you. It's a. It's a... It, it looks like it might be like a, a salve type product. So like a Vaseline type product or lip balm type product that's used all over the body um, but doesn't contain any petrochemicals yeah I think that would make sense I think that yeah because even uh, poor poor um, lip yeah. balms and stuff contain petrochemicals they do. a lot of people saying it's just like using Vaseline with poor poor essence in it <laughs> yeah. so yeah uh, this would be yeah a more natural version and I think if you are one of those people like if you use pawpaw balm or um, something similar along those lines and you go I don't see what the hype is like my lips are still dry once it all wears off it's probably it's fancy Vaseline yeah that's and not everyone responds that well to it so something like this could be interesting yeah I'd give it a go and yeah. I think um, like they have they haven't really given too much away, but there's things like a guava flavored one. Yeah. The coconut the coconut milk one sounds interesting. It I'd does. give that one a go. They've got a pineapple flavor. Um, and, and then uh, baobab. Baobab. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google what that is because it is a thing. So it looks like it's a type of tree or a genus of trees, and um, there are baobab fruit. Yeah. So chances are it's probably. Whatever that that's tastes what that like. Is. Yeah, whatever yeah. that fruit tastes like, that's what this is yeah. supposed to taste like. Uh, they're also bringing out um, some other brands on their website that they have dropped down menus for, but not you can't click on them yet. So there's a few brands that are coming up under Decium, and one of them is Hippo. And this is actually for babies. Yeah, so it's, it's a baby, baby range. range. So you can see that there's... Uh, rubbing oil hair play yeah um, and then also like a bub bubble bath yeah. product so there's a few things coming from them I really like the packaging yeah it's I cute. just I love it it's so mm, yes won my heart um, another one is Avastar now we have actually spoken about this before but never really updated it um, and this website is currently up it's uh, avastar.com and it looks like they're selling things like Perfumes, perfume concentrates, 
candles, um, lifestyle products like shampoo, conditioner, cleansing gel, body lotion, bubble bath, um, and all that sort of jazz. They also have something called printer's ink, which is a fragrance for paper. Interesting. Interesting. <clears throat> and then this, which is the Yaz collection. And I'm not really sure what this is. But I think these are also going to be candles, but from like a luxury range, maybe. Or, or they could be like candle holders or something. Maybe, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, but um, anyway, stuff's coming. You can't from actually purchase off that website yet, but we do know that it's like it's coming, coming soon, very soon. Um, another indie nail polish brand that people have started to show an interest in on the group, mm -hmm. uh, Ella Miller. So this is the Love Collection and it features six new nail polishes, um, very sort of nude tone and then this really pretty corally pr pink. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I like the little elephant on it. It's I cute. like the elephant too. It's very cute. Yeah, and um, in case you're not familiar with um, how we gather our news, we've had a few people in the last few weeks be like, oh, if you want to, oh, can you talk about X, Y, Z? Um, what we encourage people to do, we've got two Facebook groups linked in the description box um, at all times. Uh, the one that's called Beauty News is where we encourage people to join and share news discuss news um and if you really have a brand that you love that we're a bit like oblivious about you share it there and um, we will do research based on what people discuss in the group um, and that's sort of where we gather information for beauty news so we do think that it's sort of like you know a collective effort yeah and um if you do want to talk more about indie stuff or more about whatever um if you start sharing stuff we'll start reporting more on it so yes yeah that's how you do it yes um we also have something here from glam glow yeah they're calling it i don't even know yeah they're being really cryptic about it all they're saying is that um it's coming out on the 22nd of may um no 17th of may at glam glow and 22nd in sephora right so this looks like a bubble mask yeah it it is yeah so they're saying that it takes 60 seconds um and that's all they're really showing so got a minute our latest innovation is almost um, here so 60 second bubble innovation mask. well <laughs> it just means that they've uh, colored it purple and put a high price tag on it yeah that's their innovation it is bubble masks have been around for quite some oh, time yeah long long time yeah all right glossier has introduced a new product it's mm. the lash slick so it's a new mascara and they're saying that it took 248 formulations, 18 months of product testing and years of patience <laughs> to get this mascara. So it's just a mascara. Um, oh, they're saying yeah. that it, it's, they're implying that it's, the, it's a perfect mascara. Oh, okay. um, and a few people have said that it seems to work quite well. It's already okay. available. Um, but it also has little fibers in it. So it's, yeah, it's not a it's, it's a it's a fiber mascara essentially that will help add length to your lashes. Okay. Um, and then it's supposed to lock it in place. Yeah. Well, looking at this before and after lash slick image, I wouldn't guess that it is a fiber mascara. Um, if it is, it's very subtle. And um, I mean, if you take this image at face value, it. It does look very impressive, doesn't it? Well, this one does, but if yeah. you go across to the next one, they don't look as great. No. They just look like And the reason mascaras. this looks amazing is because she actually already has really nice long lashes, which you can see, and they've curled them. Yeah, but it's $16, which is not too bad. And mm -hmm. um, so it's supposed to give more of a length and enhanced look instead of clumping yeah. um, you which know, are, volume. I, I love that. I yeah. love the length and And you can, define. You can sort you of can see, that see that in the, I in the images. I 100% agree. And I will say on this particular image, I do feel like you can see the fibres a little bit more. Like yeah. They're not like fibers sticking out from yeah. your lashes and looking weird looking or anything a bit like that spidery, so yeah. i do like look i don't hate it but it's mascara yeah <laughs> but but it's not like 
they're, they're not claiming the world no, though, which is not. great. They're not yeah. charging 30 odd dollars. No, they're not. Yeah. But they not are like saying everyone else yeah, does. not like benefit and all those other brands. Yeah. Um, but they're saying that they're teeny tiny fibers. So yeah. they shouldn't look too obvious. Right. Um, and they're saying it's water resistant, but not waterproof. Okay. So it washes off easily with warm water. So oh. if you're, yeah, I think it's one of your, if I've tried that many formulas, yeah. um, the wand looks nice. I feel like it's just one of those standard, okay, you don't look like you've got false lashes, but you have much better lashes than you start. Yes. With. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's what I gather from it. I look, I would... I'm so funny about mascaras yeah. because I feel like the claims are always just absurd. Yeah. Like it's true. Absolutely fucking absurd. Um, so when they're like the perfect mascara doesn't, it, Mm. Yeah. I'm like, come on, guys. Don't toot your own horn on this one. If you've got a great mascara, let it speak for itself. Well, it, it may. But the and problem is, yeah. I would love to try it, but Glossier only ships to I the know. US, UK, and Canada. So, yeah. yeah. Alexis Stone posted an image with Jeffree Star, and the caption said, Collaboration? You kids aren't, ain't ready. Sorry. Yeah, look, I don't know. This was at DragCon and mm. Jeffree Star had a booth and was like giving out skin frosts and all that kind of stuff. Right. So that might, this might just be a way to... Oh, does he have his hands down his pants? <laughs> no, I don't think or so. Around the waist. He's just around his, the waist. just his okay. ribs and yeah, his yeah, stomach. Yeah. yeah, I feel like this might just be a little bit of trolling. Maybe, yeah. Or maybe they discussed something behind the scenes and yeah. I don't know. But, but there you go. I mean, if they've discussed something at DragCon, it's probably a long way away if it ever yeah. does happen. And how many but... times are we like, blah, 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 oh my God, we should collab, and then it I doesn't know. happen. It never happens. Yeah, yeah I know. It should happen. I know. Um, but they've, we've also seen some new mirrors, so $20 each, supposedly launching later this month. Uh, there's a nice sort of Tiffany blue and a lavender purple. They are pretty colours. Yeah, they are pretty yeah. colours. Uh, all right, Juvia's Place has shown a new Afrique. I think that's how you would say uh, it. Collection. So this should be launching in June, uh, and it looks like there's a liquid lipstick set and possibly a palette, but uh, that's all we've really seen from it. Yes. Laura Geller, we have a Cheek to Chic palette. This is a blush, highlighter, and bronzer palette. So this is available now at QVC, and it retails for $39. US Look, I'm going to say, I know that this is Laura Gala, and this is sort of what Laura Gala does, yeah. baked products. It's not a bad little baked palette. I think if you like the colours and you like Laura Geller's baked products, you're totally going to be into yeah, this. Yeah, this is pretty stock standard. If you had a massive collection, yeah. you wouldn't reach for it. But if you just... Look, I really like baked products because they're a lot softer to blend and sort of foolproof. Mm -hmm. So if you're just the average consumer shopping on QVC, I'd, I'd get this. Yep. Um, Lime Crime. So they post an image... And they said, juicy news coming your way. And it's a clear tube with a doe foot applicator and glacé cherries everywhere. I want to eat those cherries so bad. I want to eat the cherries. I just want to, like, dunk my face and I also want to make cherries. I also want to make a joke about doe deer and doe foot applicator. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> anyway, something's oh, coming. Oh, don't. <laughs> oh, doe deer. All right, Lipstick Queen. We have some rain and shine lip glosses here. So these are $20 each. Um, and, you know, there's an array of colors. Nudes that are, they range from, that one is so light. That is... That would just be like a clear with a gold shimmer. Probably. Shimmer. They're calling it Baroness of Bear. It's a sheer nude with neutral undertones. Then we have uh, Ruler of Rose, sheer petal pink with warm undertones. Pretty colour. Um, Empress of Apricot, sheer pop of peach with warm undertones. We've got Mistress of Mauve. Oh, uh, soft subdued mauve with natural undertones. Countess of Coco, which is sheer neutral chocolate brown. This one's cool. And this is gorgeous. Monarch of Merlot, sheer buildable berry with blue undertones. Oh, they look really nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but they're available now at Ulta, 20 bucks each. Yes. 
And they're saying that they are non-sticky, buildable sheer hint of colour. So, and they've got ravishing crushed golden pearls that give oh. your lips lustrous, brilliant shine. Um, so there you go. And it's supposed to be enriched with a super hydrating formula. It's also supposed to be plumping. Oh, jeez. This does just, everything. This does everything. This does everything. It. My God. I'm just going to have a sip of my Coke because that was overwhelming. That took too much. Too, too many clays. Oh, my God. It sounds like, sounds like this is the, the miracle lip product. <laughs> That everyone's been waiting for. <laughs> to, match, to match the miracle mascaras that everyone Fuck. claims to have. Jesus, everyone's bringing out The these. perfect lip gloss perfect. doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mac. Um, so this image was posted. These are called Liquid Dazzle Shadows. Mm. Um, so these look like they're going to be similar to Stila Magnificent Metals and other products along that line. Yeah. Um, and they've got, you know, different finishes, sheer, glittery, metallic, um, colourful ones, nude ones, more I'm ones. excited. Yeah, I mean, they're, you know, this whole liquid eyeshadow thing, I feel like, look, they've been around a long time, all right? They were around in the 90s, I remember them, and maybe even in the 80s. But not, not as this, not, not this formula. No, no. They have really come a long way. Yeah. And um, I am excited to see brands just expanding on it. Yeah. So. And but you've seen brands like I feel like the best brand that has done it is Stila. Hundred percent. And there's brands that have tried yeah. like ColourPop and they're flaky and not mm. as good. I'm really hoping that Mac will do them well. Models prefer. Um, so this is the limited edition Dusk Till Dawn collection. Uh, there looks to be a eyeshadow palette. Is that 24 pans? This no. looks very much like... 18 pans. Um, Desert Dusk. It vibes. does. People have been saying that. Desert, Desert Dusk. Um, so yeah, there's an eyeshadow palette. There's also three highlighters ombre highlighters they are yeah. ombre um and then it looks like there's four liquid lips that mimic oh the light of the sky aka they're metallic yeah so they are now available and that would be a price line yes it would that's it that is it um little shout out to anon yes thank anon. you i got your card that was so sweet. Um, that was very, very sweet of you. It was, yeah, unexpected and heartwarming and a little bit like... Yeah, yeah. That was really sweet. That's very sweet of you. Thank you so much for that. Um, gosh, sometimes you guys surprise us so much. I know. Um, all right, we need an emoji. Yep. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Cherry? Oh, of course. Let's do cherries. Let's do cherries. And deers. For doe deer. Yeah. But also, we're adding a new thing to the end of our emojis and beauty news videos. Yes. We give a shout out to one of our sponsors. Holy because shit. Because we've got sponsors we've got now. Sponsors. Thank you, everyone who Holy has sponsored. Holy moly, guys. We thought there might have been like three and there's more than three. So there's we were very, three. We were very yeah. happy to see that. But our... So every week we're going to shout out one of our sponsors and we're going to call you guys the like Beauty News VIPs. Yes. Because it's a bit misleading when people think that the episode's sponsored yeah, by and like, also, a brand like, or something. If you're kind of new here or you're not really sure what we mean by our sponsors, which is a YouTube, like we've got the sponsor button, we don't want people to be like, oh, this person was sponsored by Live Grow. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. We, yeah, so we're going to call you guys our Beauty News VIPs. Yeah. And who is, who is our first? Gaynor. Gaynor! Fucking Gaynor! Gaynor, on the I love ball. Gaynor. I know. So uh, Gaynor has been with us for quite some time Gosh, now. Gosh, long, long time. What a gun. She's yeah. our mod, uh, one of our mods in the group yep. and also on our channel. So when we do live chats and she the is people that are like there. blocking the, the assholes that yeah. are leaving like abusive comments. Gaynor is Gaynor's one of those onto people. it. So yeah. when um, we put up that video about the channel update and... Um, our first sponsor was Gaynor. I'm like, we've got to give her a shout out. Oh, that we girl have to. is She's invaluable. Just, we love all yeah. of our mods. And I will say this, when we saw that we had a sponsor and we saw who it was, we were like, 
Not surprised. Yeah. Not well, surprised. Just, 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 I'm like, I'm so glad it was someone that we love. Like, yeah, it was yeah, so, it's yeah. so sweet. So, with, yeah. Yeah. It, so, was, it kind of just made the whole experience that much sweeter. Yeah. And so we want to also, uh, like, we totally appreciate all the support we've had. Yeah. Um, if you can sponsor or not, like, we appreciate yeah. the lovely words. We and, have had a few people mention that, yeah. like, they, they want to sponsor, but they can't because of financial totally difficulties fine. or whatever. And that's totally fine. Like, guys, don't ever feel pressured to do anything like that. We will always bring the same content to you every week. Yeah. We love what we do and we do this not only for ourselves but for you guys as well. Like yeah. this We're is, not gonna take it away we're from not you taking to a single punish people that they No co- way. No. We would never ever do that. Never in a million years. We just wanted to um, have a little bit extra for those people who do want to support us yeah. using this method. So that's all it is. That yeah. It's just there were people who were saying, let us support you. YouTube gave us the means to do that really easily. And Why here not we are. Take it? Yeah. 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 Here we are. But yeah, we so we appreciate everyone who's sponsored us and also everyone who just left kind messages yeah. Um, yeah. and lovely support yeah um and just support our channel in general just by viewing or liking or commenting or sharing like we love you all so thank you so much for all your help um and gaynor yeah she's we love you girl she was our first sponsor wow and our first shout out yeah yeah Yeah. so we'll see you guys on monday we will updates if there are any updates yeah with your slim picking today. It's, it's a bit it's a bit rough, guys. If, so it's a lull of a week. We're, yeah, we're not too sure what's going on. Makeup brands are just like, nope. 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 <laughs> we're having an off week. Which we is are fun. having an off week. But if there's no beauty news on Monday, we can assure you that there will be additional content. Yeah. So don't you worry about that. We will see luck. you on Monday, no matter what. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys then. Bye. Bye. <laughs>